Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're back. And uh, apparently, we have some more interesting news here coming today with uh, Antifa and their, I guess their, you would say, their war on police in Atlanta. And uh, it seems that it's a lot worse than what it seems to predict it. Um, so I think we're going to go over this, kind of go a few of things, and kind of see what's going on here in Atlanta and what is Antifa's big plans. It says new footage shows 150 strong Antifa mob marching to Atlanta's cop city. Southern Poverty Law, Law Center defense lawyer who was among 23 arrested for domestic terrorism. A freshly 150 strong uh, mob of Antifa terrorists descended on Atlanta's cop city construction site before holding Molotov cocktails and destroying machinery in newly released aerial footage of Sunday's riots. The group, filmed by a police chopper's heat sensitive cameras, marched through scrub and woodland around the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center before unleashing havoc and setting fire to a power line. Police officers protecting the site are forced to stand off as the mass clad t attackers overrun the site, which has been a hotbed for Antifa violence since last spring, and target machinery. The officers are then pelted with rocks and fireworks by the thugs, many of whom travel from outside of Georgia to take part in the violence. Police in Atlanta released the shocking footage on Monday, hours after revealing 23 people have been charged with domestic terrorism over the riots. Among those charged are attorney for the hard left Southern Poverty Law Center and several serial protesters, and some who have been pre arrested previously. Astonishingly, the SPLOC has now claimed that the arrests which followed the outrageous violence were a heavy handed intervention after a month long escalation of policing tactics. Atlanta's PD said the activists changed into black clothing, entered the construction area, and began to throw large large rocks, bricks, Molotov cocktails, and fireworks at police officers. The agitators destroyed multiple pieces, multiple pieces of the construction, equipment by fire and vandalism. Multiple law enforcement agencies deployed to the area and detained several commi people committing illegal activity. The legal actions of the agitators could have resulted in bodily harm and clearly do not reflect a reflect a peaceful, peaceful demonstration. Well, they never did. Uh, Antifa and BLM have been actively shown that they're quite violent and they haven't really helped very many people. Um, in fact, they've probably done more damage to the black community than anything than actually helped. Um, but it's, as we said, uh, Antifa is a terrorist organization. We should label them as such. As they're going out to literally vandalize things or destroy things in this uh, aspect. And 150 of them, no less. I don't know about you, but unless we're at some type of an event that would be hosted by either a government or some type of other a company or what have you, to where it's, you know, an, an event to where a whole bunch of people are going to gather, like a fair, um, seeing 150 people just walking around in black clothing, no less, that's going to scare a lot of people off. That's not going to really make people want to be anywhere near that. And I think... We need to start um, doing something that is, you know, maybe protect the citizens. Because at this point, they will start attacking random citizens. I mean, they already have. But they're going to do, be doing it far worse. And to label Antifa as a non-terrorist organization is toxic and cancer. So, uh, we, have to lay, we have to be careful on what we do with these people. So I think, in my personal opinion, that we should maybe jail them for long lengths of time and maybe, they have, and maybe have them reflect on it. Although, I don't know how much they would reflect, but it's at least them, they're out of society for a certain period of time so they can't commit more harm to the American people or people around them, let alone businesses. Southern Poverty Law Center Attorney Thomas Webb Jurgens, 20, is one of 23 people who were detained after the violent clashes. Other activists from far as as far away as France and Canada were also charged with domestic terrorism with, after the riots. So they're, they're I, I, I want to say this would become a federal crime because they're going out, they're going to another country from another country to commit these acts, which is a huge problem. The LinkedIn page includes a professional photo of Jurgens with neatly styled hair and a suit and tie. The picture is, is, is a marked contrast to the mugshot released by police on Monday that shows him sullen faced in a green sweater with long, unkept hair and stubble. Jurgens was present as a legal abuser on, on behalf of the Natural Lawyers Guild, the SPC said. Despite the violence that last laid bare in the footage, the MLG made the brazen assertion that the arrests were part of an ongoing state oppression and violence against racial and environmental uh, protesters. 
Each of these instances, including the many protesters charged with domestic terrorism, made clear that the law enforcement views movement activists as enemies of the state, and the LNG said. Well, I think we have a massive problem here uh, that, <laughs> that needs to be addressed, because this is an issue. Honestly, if we kick these guys in the bud almost practically immediately, uh, we would have very much less of a problem with these people. Um, but since we haven't, they have grown, I wouldn't say powerful, but they are starting to become a bigger threat. The SPLOC has and will continue to urge the escalation of violence and police use of force against black, brown, and indigenous communities. Which, they lie because it's not really what they're doing. Working in partnership with these communities and to dismantle white supremacy, which doesn't necessarily exist all that much, strengthen intersectional movements and invest in human rights of all people. Um, see, they say that under the guise that to defend their actions when that's not the case. Um, newsflash for you people. If you have to commit violence to try to get your point across, that does not mean that you are a good entity and trying to do things of good nature. It just means that um, you are a person of bad nature and probably shouldn't be, you know, um, trusted with your views. Republican activists claim those SBLC is a radical left-wing and anti-Christian organization. Another processor was charged Timothy uh, Bilodeau is a former teacher at Arcera, the Massachusetts School of Science, Creativity and Leadership. His LinkedIn profile lists him as a teacher of engineering, although a spokesman for the school told DailyMail.com he left his position before the beginning of the 2022-2023 school year. In, in a gushing biography of himself, Bilodo 25 writes, I'm not just a musician or an engineer. I'm an aficionado of learning in all f uh, forms, leveraging the power of humor, joy, curiosity, and collaboration. I seek to build self-confidence so students can more effectively express themselves and solve problems in any area of their lives, he writes. Which usually means to commit active activism, because we had a man here, uh, we had a guy here in Sacramento to where he was actively trying to teach kids of... Uh, Antifa and activism, not really trying to teach kids of any of those things that they, you know, deemed as good. In an interview in June 2020, while studying political science at Colorado State University, Nottingham said he became an activist in 2018. He described himself as a climate activist who was involved in Black Lives Matter protests. He said he has a whole lot of privilege and a whole lot of ability to reflect the world. The, whole, the role in my future that I hope to achieve is to be an advocate in the platform I have to make change, said Nottingham. He said he met most of my activist friends through Instagram. A lot of things as well that these people are usually tend to be rich people that have the ability to go out and do this stuff like this. Most people that, you know, are working jobs and trying to get through life and, you know, uh, you know make ends meet are not doing this stuff. They're not going out and committing these atrocities. Just these people that happen to be quite wealthy in order to afford and do this stuff. James Marascano, 29, whose surname also appears as uh, Marascano in police statements, is, is a known Antifa activist who has been arrested previously. In June 2020, Marascano was arrested in Charlotte, North Carolina for assaulting a law enforcement officer. He also charged with disorderly conduct and resisting a public officer initially, of, initially fleeing arrest. So yeah, as we're seeing here is that a lot of these people that are doing this stuff are... Um, not great. They're not good people, and um, they're causing a lot of problems. Uh, Emma Bogusha was also who also uses the name Bo was a king dancer who performed regularly before she turned to activism. The Tony Fierro's Facebook page includes many photos with her dance teams, and the list vacations to London and Stonehenge in the UK. The dramatic confrontation between police and protesters comes as individuals and activist organizations descend on the proposed site for a week of action to protest its development. This is the first week of action since the since the state killed someone. Martin Klotz, an organizer with Atlanta so Solidarity Fund, told the Guardian, referring to the police involved killing of Manuel Perez Turin in January. The dramatic confrontation between police and protesters come as individuals and activist organizations descend on the proposed site for a week of action to protest its development. So yeah, essentially, these people are pretty much, as I said, going to war with. Uh, with Atlanta's police. That's pretty much what's going on. And the only way to really avoid that type of issue is to, uh, well, maybe, just maybe, uh, put these guys away. And hopefully the Georgia police can do that. But 
if you're in Atlanta, these people usually get out pretty quickly. So my hopes that they do, but there's just no promises. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care.